Hi everyone, how's everyone doing here today? And today I wanted to talk briefly about two recent incidents that uh, occurred in the news and um, they're a little different but they have one thing that brings me to my point and that is about the Constitution. You know, uh, some politicians have seemed to have forgotten about that. One was uh, approximately a week ago, I believe it was, where there was a uh, drag show reading, uh, you know, a storytelling to little kids. And, you know, there were supporters there, but there were also protesters there who were against it. Speci and some of them were members of the group, the Proud Boys. And I don't know the exact details. Uh, an altercation did break out, allegedly, and one of the uh, Proud Boy members was assaulted. At least that's what he says, and they were forced out of there by the group. They were outnumbered, and nobody wanted them there. And there was nothing going on. Again, it's just the reading on dregs, so mostly they're talking about their hate. And one of them, I believe, was harassing some of the people, and they were arrested by the NYPD. And uh, yesterday, we had the infamous, uh, supposedly, Trump was to be indicted, which I talked about that a, few day a couple of days ago. And... Uh, that didn't happen. I'm sorry. I used the word arrested originally. It was actually indicted, so I stand corrected on that one. And, you know, Trump being the type of person that he is, you know, put out posts encouraging them to, like, you know, worried about being arrested and stuff like that. I don't have the exact uh, tweet from his true social platform, but I anticipated something might happen. Fortunately, it didn't, um, you know, because of January 6th. The police were there barricading and stuff around uh, Trump Tower and the uh, courthouse. And some protesters were there at Trump Tower. There was a very small handful, like about five of them. And then later in the day, they just kind of dispersed. There were camera crews there from what I saw in the news. And at the courthouse, there was a crowd there, but not a very big crowd. In fact, the uh, media seemed to be uh, more numerous than the protesters that showed up. There were counter protesters that were there that were calling for Trump to be held accountable. And so, you know, I guess the numbers are diminishing. Some people actually flew in from another state just to be there. You know what, I'm all for uh, peaceful protesting, that's fine, regardless of who you're supporting or opposing, you know, just as long as you do it within the boundaries of the law. That was the one recommendation I put in one of my latest videos, just saying, don't do anything stupid, don't be like the people on January 6th who, you know, took their marching orders from this authoritarian like uh, leader, and as a result, now they're paying the price for it. One woman died, uh, there were other deaths, and, uh, you know, people are in jail now. And guess what? They aren't getting any uh, pardons. And some of the members that were there were, you know, some of the groups like the Proud Boys and the Oath Keepers and a few others that I can't think of off the top of my head. Now, a lot of these people are described as, or they like to describe themselves as, quote, patriots. Okay, fair enough. But as patriots, I would imagine you would want to uphold the Constitution. Okay? They all talk about freedom and stuff. Well, okay. But shouldn't that freedom be across the board? Wouldn't that be the constitutional way? Wouldn't that be the patriotic way? Evidently, they don't think that. And it's just not like members of these groups like the Proud Boys, but like Trump supporters too. And the politicians as well. A lot of them leaning on the right. So, you know, I always say if you want to keep supporting uh, Donald Trump, that is fine. That is your choice. I don't agree with it. I don't like it. But I at least have to, to a certain degree, respect it and just say that is your right to choose. And I don't believe all Republicans are bad. So... Uh, at the uh, drag show reading, uh, one of the members of the Proud Boy, this one surprisingly was unmasked because I've seen them do protests like this before at other drag events and they usually come, you know, and they're like, their armor and stuff and their gear looking all, trying to be intimidating, covering their faces. Well, if you strongly believe in what you believe in, why are you hiding yourselves? Why are you hiding your patriotism, you know? And, uh... You know, one of them complained that they just went there to protest, but he got beaten up instead. Now, as I said before, I don't approve of violence. I really don't. Although, in that case, I don't know what exactly happened. 
him. Was he assaulted or was he just making it up, trying to play the victim? I'm not 100% sure, so I'm not going to, again, jump to any conclusions. But if he did, a small part of me, as much as I say that's wrong, says, you know what, it's poetic. Because how many times have, you know, the Proud Boys used intimidation tactics to try and get their way? A lot of them participated in January 6th. Okay, that was an insurrection. Some people don't believe it is. Okay, fair enough. Let's say I take that off the table. It's still an evasion on the Capitol. It's still an evasion on our democracy. And it's not showing any regards to the Constitution. That is not patriotic. So how do you explain, how do you justify your patriotism there? What, because you didn't like how the election turned out? Okay, but it happens. And there was no widespread voter fraud. We've been through that several times. I've done plenty of videos on that. I'm not gonna go through it again. If you still believe it to this day, then I don't know what to tell you then other than, you know, you're a sucker. And yet here we go. You know what I would really like to see? If these like members of these groups, like the Proud Boys, if they really care about kids, which if they do, I say that's a good thing. I'm not gonna, I don't know what their, th their thinking is, but when they use intimidation tech, it's stuff like that. It comes off more as like hatred towards drags towards people they don't like, towards members of the LGBTQ community. You know, they don't want to see pride flags, they don't want to see that other stuff. You know, they want to see their flags, they want to see the American flag. If you saw Confederate flags up, I don't think they would complain about that. But, you know, hey, patriotism, right? You know, so what if it's a symbol of racism, whatever. Uh, instead of showing up at drag shows, what if they did something like hold a charity and try and raise money to support children, like uh, help provide uh, kids from that are living in poverty where their families are struggling for whatever reason and they can't afford to feed them regularly? What if they helped raise money to provide kids with free meals? Or if they advocated for like free meals in schools? That would be a good thing. Have they ever done that? I don't believe so. And if they have, I'd love to hear about it. If somebody has an article, a link to something, I would really love to know that. I don't hear about stuff like that. Like I said, I hear about them showing up at specific events, targeting drags or LGBTQs and other uh, groups that they don't like, and just saying, trying to use intimidation tactics to get their way. Sometimes they succeed, sometimes they're outnumbered, and like most uh, bullies, you know, they back down when they're faced with overwhelming odds. You know, that to me is not patriotism, it's cowardice. If you have to intimidate people to get your way, if you're using hate as a tool or a mechanism, you know, that's not constitutional. January 6th is not constitutional. And like I said, people who want to try and instill violence against, uh, you know, because they don't like how the judicial system is, what, that Trump might be indicted or arrested? So what? He broke the law. He had a choice. Now, you guys may not like it, may not. Uh, agree with it because you, you know, are just these diehard supporters of Trump and you're going to excuse his behavior each and every time. But it doesn't change the fact that what he's doing is not patriotic. It is not constitutional. Don't take my word for it. Uh, a few months back, Trump had mentioned in one of his tweets that he would want to terminate the Constitution. Does that sound like a true American who believes in family values and patriotic values? Is that truly a man who is, uh, believes in law and order, considering um, all the legal uh, issues he's found himself in? That is his own doing. Let's break it down if you don't believe me. Okay. Uh, what this one is, is the uh, hush payments, where you use campaign funds, or allegedly use campaign funds to cover up an affair with a porn star, Stormy Daniels. Now, s some are putting posts that, like, supposedly Stormy Daniels claims she didn't have an affair with him, and uh, he's flat out denied it, but supposedly it turns out it was true, and that there was hush money, and that it was through campaign funds, which would be illegal. The whole adultery thing, uh, is that illegal? No, but it is immoral, and, and again, when I bring up stuff like that, some people, the supporters will try and twist themselves in knots to defend it, like, well, he wasn't the president yet then, he was still campaigning. Oh, I see, why didn't you say so? That makes it okay. One friend recently pivoted to Bill Clinton. Again, a whataboutism. Well, just for the record, I'll at least say this. Uh, when uh, Bill Clinton had his little scandal going on with Monica Lewinsky, I frowned on it. 
I wasn't a big uh, Bill Clinton supporter, but I don't even think I, I didn't even vote back in during those elections, unfortunately. But when I saw that, I just said, yeah, that's not a good thing, adultery. But that's all it was. He committed adultery. He was impeached, and rightfully so, but it wasn't because he cheated on his wife. It's because he cheated on his wife and then lied about it. Either way, it's not good. So do two wrongs make a right? No. So again, as I've talked about in previous videos, accountability across the board. Here, Donald Trump used campaign funds. You don't think he broke the law? Well, then tell me this. Why is Michael Cohen in prison, one of his lawyers? Perhaps you can explain that one to me or try and find a way to pivot. Stolen documents. And everyone likes to say the supporters, oh, it was a raid. No, it wasn't a raid. They issued a search warrant, the FBI. Now they want to defund the FBI. But wait, law and order. Patriotism, the Constitution. Oh, I see. But when your president breaks the law, eh, we'll give it a pass. Uh, he could have easily given the documents back when he, when he, when it was asked of him, and he could have avoided that whole problem, all that altogether. So, making a phone call uh, to Georgia, asking him to find votes. Why did he do that? Because he wanted to rig the election in his favor. Uh, goes back to the whole voter fraud thing, which is nonsensical. But again, he keeps on pushing that lie. He tried to break the law. Now, as to what degree or what kind of law it is, that I'm not sure about. I'm not a legal expert. But when you got somebody on the phone call asking to find votes to turn that state around in his favor, um, I'm sure if Bill Clinton or Barack Obama did that, I don't think people on the right would be look at that and think like, oh, perfectly normal. No, give me a break. So all these legal troubles trumped it on himself. So if you know law enforcement decides to hold him accountable, well, that is the whole idea of law and order. That is the whole idea about abiding by the Constitution, something he swore to do, and he violated that oath. Plain and simple. You can make all the excuses you want from him, but it doesn't change the fact that what he did was wrong. <clears throat> so I find it you know, rather mind-boggling that a lot of these people, these Trump supporters, some of them who have engaged in violence, how some of these groups like the Proud Boys or the Oath Keepers and some of the other ones all claim to be patriots, and yet their willingness to support a man who clearly has no respect for the Constitution, the words that we live by, that there's still a lot of uh, racism and transphobia and, uh, you know, laws being passed against LGBTQs, homophobia. This is not, you know, how we show, how we treat people equally, which is one of the things the Constitution. I like the opening statement, we the people, that is my point. It's not uh, we the white people, it's not we the straight people, it's um, not we the uh, anti-trans, uh, anti it's not we the Christian nationals, which is also just another form of racism which I've talked about. It is we the people, all the people, of all walks of life. Regardless of your gender, your age, regardless of what religion you faith, or if you practice no faith at all, if you're an atheist. Regardless of your uh, orientation or your identity. It's those very freedoms that what makes America so special. And yet most of these people are more than happy to compromise it simply because of certain minority groups or groups that are being discriminated against that they absolutely hate and make excuse after excuse. You still think I'm wrong? <sighs> what do some of these groups and supporters do uh, when there is a school shooting? Absolutely nothing for the most part. They're allowed the Second Amendment rights. Then the Constitution becomes a convenient tool. Drag shows? Reading to children? Nothing. They don't want that. Why? Because it's about hatred. It's not a thing to do with patriotism or the Constitution. It's only their hate. These groups, these people can really do things to help children. They can push uh, their representatives, their um, lawmakers, to do things for children. And yet, we see a lot of laws, you know, targeting LGBTQs or things, uh, programs to help children that are being voted against. And yet, none of these people say anything. But then they look at drag shows or they look at pride flags and everything, and suddenly they have an issue. They see Donald Trump bringing the law and using uh, his status to try and evade that, and they complain. 
it is absolute hypocrisy, it is double standard, and it is just a lot of hate rhetoric, and it's people who are going against their patriotism. That deep down they really don't show a love for country or democracy, that they're willing to throw it all under the table just to get their way. I got news for you, all these groups, they're not going anywhere. I keep saying that over and over again, so rather than try to discriminate against them, why don't you just try to respect them? You really want to help the children? Do it the right way and go against the uh, real threats. There's a lot of uh, issues uh, in the clergy, uh, in churches, with priests and pastors who have been documented to, uh, you know, violate children. And yet I don't see any protests going on about that. If you are going to really be true to America, if you're really going to express its values, its democracy, if you really want to be a patriot and you want to be a cons believe in the Constitution and uphold it, you got to do it across the board, not when it's convenient for you. You can't just cherry pick the laws that you like and exclude the ones that, you know, that don't work in your favor. You can't just say, I'm going to support a president no matter how many times he breaks the law. Eventually, you got to draw a line and say, this guy is not doing right by me. That's another point. Donald Trump, um, when he put the announcement about his possible indictment or, and or arrest, you know, put out uh, some kind of a petition asking them to support him and afterwards requesting money, funds. And where do you think that money's going? It's not going to a campaign. It's going to help him pay his legal bills. So once again, another griff using you to take advantage uh, you know, other people so he can profit and get away with some of his uh, legal issues. Does that sound like patriotism to you? Because it doesn't to me. Trump wants to break the law? Fine, go pay for your own lawyers with your own money. Don't go groveling off the working class, you know? And if you're a Trump supporter, whether you're full-blown MAGA or just somebody who just can't seem to get him out of your head and continues to support him to your dying day, you guys are giving him money, well then you're just feeding into his grift. And then like I said, if you decide to commit acts of violence, you're gonna pay the price. I know I'm jumping around and covering a lot of different things, but you know, I still believe in we the people, and so should you. If you really are American, if you really do care, you know, about children, about freedom, about your rights, you gotta let it, everyone else enjoy those same luxuries as well. It's not just we the people that I'm in favor of and exclude the rest, no. It is all the people, you know. I really hope you understand because it's important that you do because we're still going through some struggles here and, you know, I intend to keep on, uh, you know, fighting. Not physically fighting, but just showing support and standing up against people who just want to break the law and use the Constitution or do away with it for their own benefit and at the expense of the people, people like you and me. Anyway, thank you for watching.